Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to the part two of the Moksha Trikona. We were discussing about the fourth house, the eighth house, and the twelfth house. Well, if you do not know what is Moksha Trikona, please watch my earlier video. I, it is just a continuation of the previous video. Okay, so we were discussing about the fourth house, and then we started discussing about the eighth house. Now, what is the eighth house? As we discussed a bit, that Saturn is the significator. As a Moksha Trikona, it represents transformations in life. Okay. It deals with rebirth it deals with our past lives yes what we carry from the past or what we will take into the future lives or what we have deep down inside our fears are represented by eighth house and whenever we take shelter of god our all our fears go away yes because we know that he is in control then going towards moksha becomes very easy so one of the cert, one of the primary aspects of the moksha trikon is the eighth house which represents our fears our darker side which we do not show it to others which we do not expose in front of others but when we start practicing spirituality then our darker side becomes very visible we can see what are the things that we have been hiding from ourselves what are the things that we should stop doing what are the things that we uh, need to improve okay self improvement <coughs> from the <coughs> uh, wrong doings which we have been doing in the past etc etc all this is seen from the eighth house okay our fears our hidden our hidden agendas all this come out okay all the darkness comes out from within when you practice spirituality for a long time and then without knowing the darknesses and without knowing the weaknesses etc you cannot go towards god okay or you cannot reach god you have to clean up all the mess first because god is all pure to be with him you have to be all pure yes so fourth house gives you luxuries comforts happiness etc materialistic comforts okay and it is also the house of the heart that's why they say home is where the heart is as i always say and then after this after having the luxuries and comforts okay which is material happiness from that you go through transformations in life okay ups and downs upheavals crests and troughs okay and then you understand when you go to the eighth house that this world is not a very good place to live in it is not a bad place definitely if we are connected to god spiritually even in this world but still being with god is a much better position for example uh, lord krishna says in the gita that dukhalayam ashashvatam that this world is a place of misery and unhappiness when we distance ourselves from god okay so when we are uh, connected to god even in this world we can be happy because we have a higher sense of fulfillment higher sense of purpose higher sense of duty higher sense of commitment higher sense of well being higher sense of positivity higher sense of nobility high, higher sense of humility okay all these divine qualities uh, manifest in us all these divine traits then life becomes uh, relatively much easier if somebody is not connected to spirituality or not connected to god per se okay so apart from that the eighth house also uh, shows us the reality of life okay because eighth house is also accidents and death so for example suddenly you have an accident so then you realize that my life can be taken away at any moment so moksha means giving up okay you give up the fourth house give up the materialistic desires you give up the uh, <coughs> uh you give up uh, your desire to enjoy materially okay luxuries perpetual enjoyment not that you go away from the home to the forest but you start cultivating detachment okay and you cultivate attachment towards spirituality towards god okay reading about god hearing about god chanting about god preaching about god and uh, delighting in various sorts of other spiritual activities okay and then uh, you attain higher happiness by that you by that leaving the fourth house doesn't become very difficult okay uh leaving i mean at the time of death you will have a much easier smoother transition otherwise you will face difficulty during the time of death because the scriptures say that uh when a person dies he experiences a pain which is equivalent to uh the pain of 40000 scorpion bites simultaneously at a point uh, imagine 
pain of one scorpion bite is so terrible how terrible will it if how terrible will it be na if 40000 scorpions are biting we cannot even conceive of the pain hardly some of us have even had a bite of one scorpion what to speak of uh, 10000 20000 40000 scorpion bites okay there is a debate on this issue some say it is a pain of 10000 scorpion bites some say it is 40000 but i asked them a question that how does it matter after all is it 10000 or 40000 <laughs> it is anyways beyond our limit to fathom right so when we practice spirituality okay when we realize the eighth house which is what sudden ups and downs deaths okay accidents insult loss all this are also loss is primarily 12th house eighth house is also loss of reputation insult back beating etc so we realize that uh, suppose our near and dear one some loved one passes away yes so then we realize that ultimately one day everybody we love is going to pass away ultimately we are going to pass one day so we have to prepare ourselves at the, for that moment the time of death is approaching so because of that uh, we have to understand that we have very less time i mean hardly how much time do we have some of us are 20 years old some of us are 30 years some of us are 40 years some of us are 50 years maybe some are 60 also who is watching this video uh, suppose some so let me give an average person suppose somebody is 35 years then he will live till 70 75 so half of his life has passed uh, so the rest half we should at least try to uh, cultivate spirituality so that um, at the end of our life we can remember god and go back to him yes that is the ultimate purpose of all the scriptures whichever scripture it is whichever religion it is to love god ultimately love of god is the highest so the eighth house is the house of transformation sudden upheavals etc so this this house makes us realize the fallacy of materialistic life yes and that is why we begin from the fourth house we go through the eighth house and ultimately we land up in the 12th house and what is 12th house 12th house is the final exit that is why it is also the house of bed that is why when uh, we die we are lying in the bed of course somebody may die in an accident but in general people they they are in the bed they are lying and they are helpless okay and it also represents ultimate uh, liberation salvation emancipation for example it represents giving up of for example now the now we are talking of the 12th house 12th house specifically okay it is the house of loss jails etc Uh, but here we will not talk of all those things here we will talk of the 12th house as a moksha house so uh here as we said 8th house is also divine uh, it's the dark knowledge divine knowledge because divine knowledge is hidden as i had said in the earlier video that lord krishna says in the gita raj vidya raj guyam this kingly knowledge which i am giving to you o arjuna uh is very secretive okay not many people know this even if they know they don't realize that's what is meant by the word secret and then what happens is you get this knowledge and you practice it because saturn is the significator as i had said in the earlier video for a long long time you practice the divine knowledge you imbibe it in your life in your heart and soul the fourth house okay in your home in your family and you lead a god centered life and then ultimately you reach the 12th house which is the house of giving up it is official loss okay it is the official exit house so at the end you uh, at the end we should uh, give up whatever we have all the possessions or anyways they will be taken away from us because when we die nothing is going to go with us right everything will be taken away we will be stripped of all the things and then we will be left with nothing so before god takes away things from us it is said we should only give him <laughs> okay so we we realize that uh one day everything will be taken away from us our own body i get some people who tell me that oh this my my girlfriend ditched me my boyfriend ditched me my wife ditched me my husband ditched me he had an affair with somebody she had an affair with somebody my boss fired me yes my father did not give me anything my mother didn't give me well any love okay my children they had neglected me when i became old okay but what about your body sir my dear sir your body is going to teach you one day 
then what then who will to whom will you complain you will have nobody to complain right because the very very self the very body where you are sitting you the soul the atma the chitta the spirit uh, that is going to uh, that is staying in the in one body now and you have a identification your name may be amit your name may be john your name may be paul your name may be mohammed whoever your name is right now okay uh, it will not remain for very long maybe 40 years more 50 years 60 years 70 years after that it will perish so then where will you go sir to complain you have no places right to complain so then it means that we will be stripped of everything which we have and then in various customs they have this they, they burn the body some they bury the body of christians they put it in the coffin etc etc parses they will put it high up in the building where vultures can come and eat or i don't know much this is what i know from my limited fund of knowledge okay so now <clears throat> these are the different uh, areas where moksha houses come into play and that is why 12th house is the house of charity so we should always do charity just like i said in the kama house the 11th house is the house of charity donation spiritual journeys pilgrimages like the muslims go to the uh, to makka madina for hajj okay the hindus go to jagannath puri they go to tirupati they go to uh, dwarka which is in west india then they go to badrinath which is in north india jagannath puri is in the east then in south they go to rameshwaram and christians go to the vatican okay and so many other churches so many other cathedrals they have so and uh, so many other religions they have these pilgrimages when people become old okay they they finally decide that yeah anyways it's going to be all over so let's go to god at least now okay so that's what i would say that that is why 12th house is the house of loss and exit okay and it is also a part of the subconscious mind like the third house 12th house is more of your it is more of your what you carry from the past actually okay uh what are the things that you have deep down inside these are also signified by the 12th house at times just like the 8th house so if you stand in the 12th house then things will automatically get better and if you keep doing charities and if you keep giving donations you keep pursuing spirituality meditation is the 12th house meditation is so important a very key aspect of the 12th house that is meditation meditate meditating on god putting your mind to the higher source okay whoever it can be whoever you meditate upon we are anyways meditating on somebody right all the time either we are either a young boy is meditating on a girl a girl is meditating on a boy or a person is meditating on his wife or his job or his children we are all the time meditating on somebody right we cannot stop meditation whenever people say oh i have started meditation i said no sir you are already meditating from the time you are born on somebody but generally when they say meditation it means meditation on god <laughs> but the truth the fact of the matter is we are always meditating we have been always meditating on somebody or the other okay so here we just have to transfer our meditation to god okay and then we will have peace because fourth house is the house of peace and when we do all these three we we are peaceful we continue our spirituality and then we can undergo the eighth house the transformations okay the changes as an individual by which we grow okay these things will come and then we will be able to attain god ultimately okay so that is it from my side if you like this video click the like button and if you like my channel then please subscribe to it and if you have any questions any queries any comments then please let me know in the comments and until next time bye bye see you